Hey guys, Steve again, a lot of to my path outdoors. Uh, was out here behind the house earlier today shooting my bow a little bit. Uh, just wanted to sit and talk for just a minute about how shooting a bow can uh, really mirror our, uh, our growth in our Christian walk. As odd as it may seem, it really can. Uh, this year uh, is my first year bow hunting. I've hunted all my life, gun hunted and everything, but this is my first year bow hunting. And I've actually only been shooting for about a month. And, uh, I've got a long ways to go. I, I, I'm getting there. A lot better than what I was the first day I stepped out here shooting. But I still got a long ways to go. Uh, sitting on my target right now, actually. Just a little spot out here in the yard to sit on. But I, I'm getting pretty good at it. Uh, hitting the target. Uh, probably 80% of the time, I, I hit where I want to. But when I don't... It's not the bow. I know that the bow's tuned in, the bow's good. It's because I do something. I jerk sideways or pull my right hand or lean forward as I'm letting go. I still have a lot of mistakes that I've got to try to get ingrained to do the same thing every time. But uh, that is just shooting at a target. Once I get out, I've seen several deer this year, just not got a shot at them. But once I try to take a shot at a deer, I don't know what kind of shooting I'm going to be doing or nothing because the nerves are going to kick in. I'm going to be under a little more pressure than shooting at this square piece of styrofoam and uh, nylon, but it's, it's coming along. Yeah. I know people that's been hunting for 30 years with a bow and they still get out and shoot all the time. And that's kind of what got me to thinking about our Christian walk. Whether you're a new Christian whether you've been a Christian for 40 years, you're never, let's say, good enough or experienced enough to stop reading your word. Just like in bow hunting, no matter how long you've shot, you still need to shoot every year. Uh, <clears throat> shoot regularly to stay in tune with not only the bow, but your own mechanics and make sure everything's right going there. But, Especially in our Christian walk, we always need to stay in the Word. Uh, you never know too much of it. I don't care if you can quote every word in it. We still need to stay in it. And we may get comfortable when things are going right or uh, nobody's come. We've, we've not come in contact with anyone who questions the Word, who questions God or our beliefs. Just like getting comfortable shooting at this target here in the yard, I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm under pressure yet. So I need to keep practicing, to keep doing different things to, to be ready for that moment. I'm going to read a little scripture here. Got my phone. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we have to always study, and we can't get comfortable with what we know or the things we do know because something is going to happen in our lives whether it be something that affects us personally or in our family to where we're going to need to know what the Word of God says about it. But nowadays especially, we're going to come under pressure in a lot of other different ways uh, besides just going through hard times and trials. There's a lot of people these days that will try to dispute what the Word of God says. You go to witness to someone, they're going to ask questions, and they may have a belief that is, you know, 180 degree turn from what you believe, and you're going to need to know what the Word says. And like I said, we can memorize it, quote it, whatever, but we still need to stay in it. But just like when you get out in the woods and you see that deer and you draw back on it, it's a whole different set of circumstances than standing here in the yard shooting, sitting here in the house reading discussing that Bible study with uh, fellow believers is a uh, world of difference when it comes to going out and talking to someone who may not believe, who may not have been raised in the Word, who may not know anything about it, or hey, who may have completely different opinions and um, be completely against what the Word says. So we need to study in it, stay in it, meditate on it, you know, Joshua chapter 1, I think, verse 8. Said, you know, let not this book of the law, excuse me, you know, meditate on it day and night. Stay in it. 
and there's a reason for that. Uh, I get like sometimes in my reading and studying, and I think we all do, but one of these days, it may just happen once. You may be in a position where it happens every day. People you work with, or you may be in a ministry where you're traveling and meeting different people every day or something. And a lot of things are gonna come against what the Word of God says, and if you don't know it, and if you don't have it in your heart, then the witness is gonna be at least held back. Maybe not stop, but at least held back. So just a way that uh, we can look at archery a little bit, shooting a bow with our growth in Christ. You gotta keep practicing, keep practicing, because every situation is gonna be different. We have to study to show that ourselves approved so that when we are in a situation where the Word of God uh, is maybe put in question by someone or someone may actually believe in the Word and just not know it and come to us for advice or further direction on something. That's it for today. We thank you guys for